So I stopped at a garage sale recently, and look what I found. This is a dining table that I have never actually seen in person before. Here's the leaf, which may give you a clue as to what it is. I'll take it out of the van so you can get a better look at it. This is a Lane Acclaim dining table. And if you're not familiar with Lane Acclaim, Lane is the furniture maker and Acclaim is the name of the particular line of furniture. And they're known kind of for these dovetail details. All the pieces had some kind of a dovetail like this in them. It is in pretty bad shape. As you can see, I'm a little worried about these bleached out spots. They're really light and I hope that I can get some color back to them. This is walnut veneer, so it should have some nice walnut color to it. So we'll see what happens with those. And this does look like it's been refinished before. There are lots of squiggly, kind of curly Q sanding marks from an orbital sander. So going by that, uh, I think it's safe to assume this has been sanded. And hopefully it wasn't sanded a lot so that I can still do a little bit of sanding if I need to. Because this is veneer in the middle here. This is walnut veneer. So there's only so much sanding I can do without going through the veneer. Time to start removing the finish. And I think I'll start with the scraper. I have the finish scraped off on the top of the table now. And it looks like the worst part is probably this area over here. There are some dark spots where it looks like maybe something got through the finish and into the wood, maybe oil or something. And there are those light areas, the bleached out spots where there was no finish left, probably for a long time. But before I go any further with the top, uh, I think this is a good time to disassemble the table and start working on the legs and the apron and the underside of the top because there is some finish down there and some funny business going on where it looks like maybe it was refinished already or sanded badly. There are a lot of scratches from an orbital sander. Here you can see some on this leg. They're going in that direction. And here are lots more curly Q marks from an orbital sander. There are also some gouge marks running this way. You can see some here. They kind of go all the way down this area. Not even sure what would have caused those. Another clue that this has been refinished is that the tips of the legs, the feet, are usually painted black on Lane Acclaim pieces. At least they have been on every piece I've ever seen and these are not black anymore. So I'm thinking the paint was probably stripped off and not reapplied. I think I just figured out what the gouges are from that I pointed out earlier. It's probably from an orbital sander. 
if the edge of the sanding disc touches a piece of wood, like this one here, it can dig into it. And that's probably what this is from. Because I know somebody used an orbital sander on here. Like, that's obvious. You can see the marks. But anyway, that's probably what that's from. Okay, I've got the finish scraped off of the top and the legs. And now I need to try to address some of these issues. The top here, it's got these light spots. And it's also got dark spots. Um, so I'm going to have to try to do something about that. But first I want to work on these outer edge pieces. And I don't remember if I've already said this in this video, but um, this light wood, some people say it's ash, some people say it's oak. The old ads I've seen from Lane say it's fruit wood. And this, to me, looks like elm. So I'm just going to call it elm. I may be wrong, but I'm going to go with that. And this is one of the things that makes it really difficult to refinish Lane Acclaim is the combination of this lighter wood with this walnut veneer. This is a solid piece. These dovetails, as far as I know, are veneer. You can actually see a seam here where this is a separate piece from that. And on all of the Acclaim that I've worked on, this wood always has this real kind of dirty look after it's been stripped, where the finish or whatever was on it before gets into the grain and just looks kind of dirty. So I want to try to get this stuff out of the grain and make it look more like this, which is the leg. And this I just um, scraped it and I sanded it until it was all clean, which wasn't a big deal because there's no veneer on this, on the leg, it's all solid. And while this is solid, this is a veneer. So if I just grab the sander and start sanding this, I'm also going to end up going into the veneer. And I don't want to do that yet, at least. I want to do as little sanding on the veneer as possible. So I have to be careful. So I think the way I'll start is to do some scraping with this card scraper and do some sanding by hand and see how far I get with that. And then eventually at some point, I'm gonna to have to sand the walnut veneer too, but I'm just gonna start with this for now. I was just sanding the top and I found some more evidence here that this has been refinished already uh, before I had it. There's some drips of finish going over the side here. And that wouldn't have happened with the factory finish because they sprayed it on and they just wouldn't have been that messy. So somebody probably brushed or wiped on a new finish at some point. So I'll have to get those drips off. Now let's wet this down and see how it looks. I think it looks pretty good, actually. It looks better than I thought it was gonna look. I'd still like to clean up this a little bit more. 
Here are some of those sanding scratches that are still here in the veneer. They're kind of like little, little squiggly lines. Uh, hopefully you can see them, but I guess if you can't see them, it's a good thing. But, but they are still there. And I'm not gonna be able to get them out because I just can't, I can't sand or scrape this anymore or else I'll go through the veneer. So they're gonna have to stay. But at least it's the bottom of the table, so it's not going to be really that visible, I don't think. I think I'm done with most of the scraping and the sanding. And I've got the table turned upside down, and as you can see, I disconnected the two pieces. So it'll be easier to uh, just move them around and work on them by myself. I noticed that this edge of the apron, this bottom edge, it looks kind of greenish in some spots, like right here. So I'm assuming this is probably poplar. Here you can see the greenish bit there and down here too. So I think I'll apply a stain to this section to get it a little closer in color to this, the walnut veneer. So it looks like those dark and light spots on the top that I pointed out earlier uh, aren't going to be too much of a problem. When I get them wet, they just look um, maybe slightly darker than the rest of the veneer, even the light spots. This is how it'll look when it finishes on it, and even the light spots actually turn darker. So I think... I'm just gonna leave them. I can't sand them anymore or scrape them anymore because this is veneer and I'll just go through the veneer. So uh, at this point, there's not much else I can do about it. And I think uh, it's just gonna be the way it is. So now I'm gonna spray some shellac, clear shellac over the whole thing. I've got a few coats of shellac on everything. And now I want to try and darken those light edge pieces a little bit. And I'll use some toner lacquer for this. And I tape them all off because I don't think I need any of this toner on the walnut veneer. The veneer is far from perfect, but I think it's going to be okay as it is. I'm not necessarily trying to get this back to how it looked when it left the factory. That's not what I'm going for, but at the same time, I don't like the high contrast look so much. So I just want to darken the edges a little bit. I'll also spray some on the legs. So I think this looks a little too orangey now. I probably went a little too heavy with the toner. So I'm gonna try and just gently, little by little, rub a little bit off with some fine steel wool and mineral spirits and see if I can tone down the toner a bit. That worked out pretty well, actually. Now I think it looks great. It's not too dark, not too light. I think I like it. So I had a slight mishap with this leg. I had it hanging loosely in the table without the nut on there. And of course it fell out onto the cement floor and got a bunch of dents in it. There's one big one here. And then a few smaller ones along here. So I think what I'm gonna to try to do is steam out the big one. And then um, these little ones are pretty deep. I don't know if they'll come, come out with steam, but maybe I'll try it. And if it doesn't work, I'll just fill them. And then retone it. So here we go. 
and a hot soldering iron. actually did a similar thing a few videos ago. I was working on a Haywood Wakefield table and similar situation. I had the leg on there kind of loose and of course it fell off onto the concrete and dented it. But I was able to steam it out. All right, that's good. It's almost completely up and it's good enough for me. Now maybe I should try. Yeah, I'll just give them give them a shot. These little little ones. Okay, I think that's good enough now. Now I'm just gonna take the finish off and put it back on. Okay, I've got the whole thing stripped and then shellacked again, and now time for toner. That's what I'm going for, ish. You may remember earlier in the video, I put some gel stain on this bottom part of the apron. And it looked good when I put it on and the table was upside down, but when I turned the table right side up, it didn't look so good anymore. Uh, it looked a little too red, it just didn't look right. So I took it off and I'm just gonna try spraying it with the same toner that I've been using on the other parts. Time to get some black paint back onto these feet. Okay, time to add the clear lacquer top coats. And here it is, all finished. Or is it? Not sure if I'm completely sold on the look of this one. I was trying to give it a little more of a natural look as opposed to covering the whole thing in toner or stain. But as a result, there is definitely some color variation between the parts. And I usually lean towards a more consistent color over the whole piece. For instance, the legs, I think, might be on the light side. But I think I'm going to live with it for a little bit and see whether I want to just move it along as it is or take another try at it. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.